Hello, in this video we will discuss what is a loop and how to prevent it. And one more thing, how spanning tree comes in picture. So guys, whenever we connect switches in a redundant way, what do you, what do you mean by redundant way? It means that you are connecting switch 1 to switch 2, switch 2 to switch 3 and switch 3 again to switch 1. So in this case, if I have one user connected to switch 2 and one user connected to switch 3 and I want to move data from this particular user to this particular user, as you can see there are two paths. So whenever we connect switches in a redundant way, there are chances of loop. So let's understand what is a loop. As loop is nothing, it is a situation. So let me explain it to you with the help of topology. So let's say these are my switches. These are the respective port numbers. These are the MAC addresses of the end devices. So I'm assuming here these this these port number to be three. So as we know the rule, switches will build MAC address table for forwarding the data. So let's say we will talk about the first step when this user want to communicate with this user. So there will be a first process that is called ARC. It means that 1011 should know the MAC address of 10.1.1.2. So what will happen? This user will generate ARC request which will be received by switch 2 on port number 3. Now switch 2 will make a MAC address table and update an entry that on port number 3 I am learning a MAC address A. Or you can simply understand it will always learn the source MAC in the packet. So source MAC would be A. Now we know that ARP is always broadcast so switch 1 will send this packet to 3 also and 1 also. So 1 also and 3 also. So in this case switch 3 will also update the MAC address table that on port number 2 I am learning a source MAC that is A but we can't you can say skip this thing that switch 1 will also send the same R packet to switch 3 because this is the behavior of a device that on the port it has received the broadcast except that port it should flood the broadcast on all the ports in the same broadcast domain so in this case, switch 1 will receive the same MAC address on port number 1 also. So this particular situation is called loop. No switch can learn same or you can say identical MAC address on two different ports. One port is allowed to learn uh, one or more than one MAC addresses, but two ports cannot learn the same MAC address. So this situation is called loop. Now, we have to resolve the problem that loop should not form. So what will happen whenever you connect three switches in a redundant way? See, first of all, let me clear. It's not about you are connecting three switches or four switches. It is about you are connecting switches. So they will run a process in the back end. So that process is run with the help of a packet. These packets are called BPDUs. And the process is called spanning tree. So these switches will exchange subcontrol plane information in the back end to know that if they are connected in a redundant way, they should block the redundant path. So what will actually happen? So for example, these are my three switches. One of the link will be blocked. Because after exchanging BPDU, switches will get to know that they are connected in a redundant way. So guys, here comes a protocol that is called spanning tree. Which will do all this for us. So whenever you connect multiple switches together, they will exchange BPDUs. BPDUs are the messages of spanning tree. And they will try to find out if there is a redundant path. And if it is there, it will block that redundant path. It means if I go back to my example, this is user A, this is user B. 
and this user want to communicate with this user so this link would be blocked so there is only a single path so there are no chances that one switch will learn same MAC address on multiple ports so guys in this video we have so seen what is a loop and how we can use spanning tree to prevent the loop thank you